Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio's ESL Podcast, man. I am so happy to be in this wonderful background. As you guys see, it's all real. It's all real. But more importantly, man, I have a wonderful announcement that I'm going to be building up until June the 1st and then until July the 1st. Guys, I'm so excited that I have finally brought to all of you who have been tuning into my TOEFL ITP blogs my um what is it my TOEFL ITP especially on YouTube I think I probably have already eclipsed 1,000 subscribers it took six years Jesus but nonetheless man I'm so happy about this and I'm even happier to be presented to you a course that's right as of June 1st people you will have the structure TOEFL ITP grammar course available to you guys guys this is going to be anywhere between three to about 10 hours worth of content going over every single segment with exercises, with PDFs for you to complete, with different assessments for you guys to complete so much great stuff. And it's only going to be priced at $50. However, if you get on the pre-sale right now, it's going to be 50% off. So it will be $25 for all that content. And in addition, the written expression will debut July 1st. So the TOEFL ITP structure, okay? That's going to be debuting June the 1st, okay? And then July the 1st, which is gonna be the written expression, that's gonna be debuting. Now, if you wait all the way until July 1st to obviously purchase the course, you will be getting it for, what is it? Uh, I think a 20% discount if you buy both courses together. So there'll, there'll be two singles and then there'll be a double because I know some of you, have difficulty just with the written expression and some of you have difficulties with obviously just the uh the structure aspect of it so nonetheless man i'm so excited about this if you're already on my email man i'm gonna be sending you really cool videos and nice little breakdowns on there um and there's just so much content that's gonna be coming your way so i'm really excited about debuting this to you guys and nonetheless in saying that let's get into this short little podcast again this is written expression we're going over another or other. Now, you guys probably already know that I've done this in the, the structure, from the structure aspect of it, okay? Meaning, I have done this with the answer choices being the A, B, D, I'm sorry, the A, B, C, D, and et cetera, et cetera. But now we're getting into the written expression aspect of it. So here we go. This is a nice little review, okay? So you guys can find this blog very easily on the Arsenio Buck Show. Dot com. Okay, this is where it is. So what I'm reading it off, you're going to be able to access that very easily. So for everyone on YouTube, check the description, check the links in the description, you'll be able to get everything there and follow me on my Arsenio's ESL podcast page. Okay, because I'm going to be putting some cool stuff on there. So another and other how to use them. Well, you use another with an adjective. Well, obviously an adjective or a pronoun, but let me give you an example another plus singular so have another sandwich have another drink have another singular noun now other goes with the plural noun okay so there are different ways of using this too there are two different ways we have other plus plural noun or we have determiner plus other plus noun so for other plus plural noun, it goes such as, I wonder if there is life on other planets. Other planets, that's a plural countable noun, right? Now, a determiner plus other plus noun. A determiner is some, few, any, many. Those are determiners, right? So, some other planets. So, some plus other which is the determiner plus other plus noun. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So there may be life on some other planets. You guys get me? So that's how you use it as an adjective. Now we can use it as a pronoun too, okay? So, uh, thanks, I'll have another. Another what? So we're using it as a pronoun as the subject of the sentence, right? So thanks, I'll have, yeah, I'll have another one. See what I mean? I'll have another, you see what I mean? You could use it in replying to someone in statement form. Hey, would you like to have another drink? Thanks, I'll have another. See what I mean? Or 
Let's go on into the other. We can use determiner plus other two. I have one book. I have the other. So it's like you're walking with some friends. Hey, hey, Arsenio, don't worry. I have one book. Like, oh, no problem, man. I have the other. I have the other. This is how you use determiner plus other. Okay, so in saying that, another, I wrote down some things for you guys down here, but I just want to go over some sample items. This is a relatively quick one. Now, on my course, you're going to be seeing me do a lot of different videos and post them every, everywhere so you guys see exactly what I am doing on the course. But here, you could go over the description. I wrote down some things in between the format and the sample items. You could check that out to make more sense of it. But I want to go over a sample item using another and other. So it says here, Willa Cather is known for my Antonia and another novels of the American frontier. Now, this is what you would see in a sample sentence. Okay, which one is wrong? Obviously, another. Why is it wrong? Okay, another novels. Remember, another plus singular, not another plus plural. So, I didn't underline anything because I want you guys to literally read out the sentences and, and understand, okay, I see where the problem is. So when you actually get to the written expression on the test, you don't care so much about the A, B, C, D. You just know exactly what the format is. And that's what the course is gonna be so good on, right? So in this case, Wilda Cather is known for My Antonia and other novels, okay? Other plus plural. Now, going into the last example, we have an understudy is an actor who can substitute for other actor in case of an emergency. So what's the problem here? Obviously, we've been covering another and other for the last five minutes. Another actor, not other actor. You must use a plural countable noun after other, okay? Another plus singular. This is how you do it. And this is the breakdown of it. So in saying that, guys, a very, very quick video, more of an introduction in terms of me doing the pre-course cell and, you know, giving you guys examples of what you're going to be experiencing. Make sure you get on my email marketing list, the ArseniobuckShow.com. I see my folks from Indonesia and Colombia. You guys are all tuning in and whatnot. And continue following these blogs because you know I love pumping out this TOEFL ITP material. But if you need it more structure and you need the test and you don't want to sign up for another $5,000, guess what? Course, $50, even $25 if you do the pre-sale. And you're going to get the structure given to you right then and there. That easy. So, in saying that, guys, so excited about this. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And in saying that, we got birds out. There are going to be a couple other videos of me wearing this bright ass white shirt. If you guys are watching this on video and if you're on my ESL podcast, again, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host as always. Stay tuned for more. Over and out.